Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Greetings from College Dunia. I would like to inform our viewers that Dr. Devjani Dasgupta is the director of Dwi Patil School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics. She has over 38 years of experience in the field of education and has completed her PhD from Baba Atomic Research Center, Mumbai. We are privileged to have her on our leadership series, Thoughtful Leaders. Welcome, ma'am. So, ma'am. So, ma'am, as the director of uh, Dwi School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics, can you throw some light on its genesis? Um, the Dwi Patil, uh, deemed to be university, exists from a long time, and the School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics is a part of this university, which is a health university. And recent most, the ranking of this university has been seventy-seven by the National Institutional Ranking Framework. You know, this university is a very progressive university, and way back in two thousand one, they thought that a school of biotechnology should be an integral part of a healthcare and a health science university. And in two thousand three, this department came to exist. We are, in fact, pioneers of biotechnology and bioinformatics in the city. That's really great to yes, know, ma'am. We are three. Okay, ma'am. How is the curriculum being changed so that it is in synchronization with the changing market trends? Well, uh, the curriculum changes every three to five years, majorly, in consultation with all the stakeholders. the industry the alumni who are well placed you know in different places academicians from different universities in india abroad and also our students sometimes so all stakeholders are into the process of synchronization and we do this every 2 years on minor basis and majorly every 3 to 5 years that's really great to know ma'am ma'am with the current covid situation and the lockdown condition like what are your plans for the incoming batch in terms of induction and classes see we have a very robust you know online virtual system of education because our school our university has a learning management system which started way back in 2015 so we will have absolutely a seamless transition to online and virtual education our being a science education we have complete access to what is called as virtual learning platform for laboratories the virtual labs we are a regional center of the um, iit endeavors of virtual laboratories which is an mhrd endeavor so there is seamless education will happen in this place and our you know my message is that people should just join in to get the education very very easily rightly said ma'am ma'am uh, you have been in various leadership position so what is your philosophy on leadership and how would you describe your leadership style thank you good question well uh, my leadership philosophy is serve to lead so it is service first service to my faculty to my staff members to all other staff members and to my students most of all though the style is decentralized i am there everywhere in the classroom in the library in the laboratory everywhere and my philosophy percolates down to the students also that's really great to know ma'am um, how do you think this covid will impact the placements and can you throw some lights on the placement trends till now and what is the expectation in near future the placement has been very good in our department of course our students go for higher education to uh, universities abroad but those who stay back either become entrepreneurs we have about 5 to 6% of our students becoming entrepreneurs and the placement i think this year in particular is going to be extremely good because this training you know this wonderful training of biotechnology and bioinformatics that we provide is going to be of utmost importance to pharmaceutical and healthcare industry which is the sunrise industry of today so i see immense potential that's really great to know ma'am ma'am uh, as you you told earlier like there are a lot of changes going on the biotechnology field 
so how do you make ensure that your students are updated with the current research in the biotechnology field and uh, like what is what are their practical approach well you see this virtual laboratory that we have it is with uh, concurrence of iit uh, mumbai and here it is a virtual platform for conducting various kinds of experiments so the students is exposed to experiments happening all over the country we also have conferences you know seminars and workshops where experts come from all over the country and even from abroad and they are constantly teaching our students are taught and the best part is now that these things can be done on the virtual platform because we have a very robust virtual platform so it will continue okay that's really great to know ma'am ma'am uh, your college also offers niche courses like btech in uh, food technology and bioinformatics yes. so can you throw some light on this course and its importance see bioinformatics and data science i think we are the only one in the country to provide such a program there is no other university which provides such a program now there's so much immense data being generated because of this pandemic which is one of a kind and has come after 100 years more than 100 years and we were fortunate that we thought of you know things beforehand and this wonderful combination of data science and bioinformatics i think is the call of the future yeah we are very innovative and we are very innovation driven so there are products coming out packaging materials coming out in which the students are completely involved and thinking new that's very really great ma'am ma'am uh, what are the extra curricular activities planned for the students oh in numerous because we believe in the holistic development of a child and therefore we have numerous clubs numerous hobby clubs like music dance drama debate uh, literature environment innovation science clubs different clubs what have you everything under that but we encourage them to always have hobbies and talents that's really great yes. to know ma'am Ma'am, what are your expectations from the students who are going to be the part of this family from this year onwards? Well, I expect them to be sincere. Really, first, first expectation is of sincerity, and there should be a desire to learn. There's lots to teach, and there should be an intense desire to learn. And then we can easily overcome, you know, all these troubles of uh, hurdles. of not being in college and all that is easily overcome because there is a lot of things that can be transacted even otherwise right so my yeah my uh, message would be please take up biotechnology bioinformatics you know biomedical engineering because these are the subjects of the future rightly said ma'am ma'am can you throw some light on the vision and mission of the institute well the vision of our institute is to be a torch bearer of excellence in education in biotechnology and bioinformatics and for this vision to be executed our mission is constant development of the faculty right through research and then disseminating to students the knowledge acquired with a combination of research and teaching so that is the way we want to make skilled people skilled uh, students from our institute that's a very novel idea ma'am so ma'am at last any suggestion or message to the students who are aspiring to join your institute like how should they prepare so that uh, they don't lag behind yeah the preparation that comes with the 12th standard education with the cbsc portions and the icsc portions and also the hsc portions are just the basic and uh, biotechnology bioinformatics is even a better option than medicine actually if you really go to see because there is a lot of innovation so i would my message would be take up biotechnology take up bioinformatics take up biomedical engineering and be personal to whom doctors look up to doctors are going to look up to us now for solutions 
and for treating patients and for new vistas of thinking such as personalized medicine you know predictive medicine all this is happening in bioinformatics without that knowledge doctors will not be able to function and therefore we will have an upper hand of even over the medical profession rightly said ma'am from this discussion was really insightful i'm sure the viewers will learn a lot from this thank you for your time ma'am thank you again thank you so much thank you very much